I am Dr. Alexander uh, Mukasian, uh, professor of National University of Science and Technology, MISIS, Moscow, Russia, as well as professor of uh, chemical and biomolecular engineering, University of Notre Dame, Indiana, USA. I am teaching course, uh, Science of Engineered Materials, which I believe uh, very useful for the undergrads, bachelors, as well as the graduate student, especially master program related students, which are dealing in the engineering field. So why it's so important and what does it mean, science of engineered material? Importance of the field one can recognize if, it's, uh, if uh, he or she refreshed uh, the mind about the classification of the human being. You know that the ages in this classification, all ages, they do have names which are related to materials. Indeed, Stone Age, Iron Age, Bronze Age, believe me, 85% of discoveries in the Mannheim history were made based in the discovery in materials. For example, semiconductors, so gave the name of our age, the previous age is a silicon age. Now maybe we are living in the nano or biomaterial age, and who knows what will happen then. On the other hand, uh, believe me, so engineers from any kind of areas, including chemical engineers, mechanical engineers, material science engineers for sure, electrical engineers, and so on and so far, more than 75% of their work are dealing with materials. So what we are talking about in this course? Idea is very simple. So everybody wants to use materials under some operational conditions in their projects. These conditions uh, dictate the material properties, different type of properties. We are talking about physical properties such as melting point, electrical conductivity, thermal conductivity, as well as mechanical properties, elastic and plastic ones. Everybody know that these properties are very tightly related to the different levels of material structures, including atomic structure, crystal structure, microscopic structure. So each level of structure is responsible for very specific type of material properties. So, in order you may select the right material for your use, you have to understand what kind of properties you need and what kind of structures you have to expect from your material in order to get the desired properties. So these relations between the material structures of different levels and their properties under operational conditions are the main focuses of this course. Also, it is very important to know how the scientists, young scientists especially, can investigate and go deeper in the characterization of this level of properties. Thus, we're also talking about the different types of material science technique which allow you to see atoms, to see the crystal structures, and to feel the microstructure. So uh, you're very welcome to this, I believe, very useful and uh, I want to say multidisciplinary course. And then, so I'm, uh, you're very welcome to provide any your feedback on this kind of uh, our project. Thank you very much for your attention.